Hey everyone, this is Rajendran here. In this video, we're going to learn about Ubuntu installation with minimal configuration without any custom domain. So here is one of the question in our GitHub section uh, from Harsh Maheshwari. His question is like, I want to install uh, OpenAlgo as a Python Flask app with only support for Python strategies. What would be the steps, right? So here we're going to learn to install uh, in Ubuntu without any Cloudflare, no ng-rock, no custom domain, no uh, any HTTPS certification or something like that and no Nginx proxy. So we're going to directly install uh, OpenAlgo inside a plain uh, servers. So I'm going to uh, take it on uh, server from Vulture, right? And this is a typical 2 GB RAM machine. And here is my IP. I'm going to copy the IP. I'll go and open up an uh, code editor. From here, I'll go to the terminal. So from the terminal, I'm going to go and uh, SSH into my server ssh root at the rate i'll paste the ip and then press enter obviously that will be first time if you're logging in it's going to ask you for the fingerprint i'm going to say yes and it's going to ask me for the password so i'll go back copy the password and then paste it out and then i got back into the uh, server so once i am into the server now first thing is like uh, create an uh, uh, installation script so nano install.sh that's a uh, file name that i'm going to give I'm going to copy the installation script which I had provided down below that. So here is the installation script. So copy it and then paste it. So it might take a little bit of time. Yeah, once it is done, press Ctrl X and then uh, Shift Y. That will be saving the file. Yeah, so once the file is saved, now it's time to activate the script. You have to give the file permission. So chmod plus x and then uh, install.sh and then you just sudo and run the installation script, right? That will be asking you whether you want to run the time zone to IST or not. It's highly recommended. You just change it to IST timings. Yes. And you have to enter your broker name. I'm going to enter the broker name over here and then followed by that I have to get my API key. So ensure that you are setting up the uh, your uh, API key and then redirect URL, right? So once everything is done, I'll enter my keys. So these are my test keys over here, which could be changed once the uh, video is over. So it is it start installing the script. The script installation will be taking anywhere around two to three minutes. All you have to provide is like you have to provide the broker credentials, and automatically it'll be installing all the dependencies and. Uh, so here we are using the UV method, so the installation will be pretty much faster. I think it is probably using 3.12, I believe, in my case. Yeah, it's installing the UV package manager, which is going to make the Python library package installation pretty much faster. Because hundreds of packages are there, so UV install it in no time. So UV itself and package manager from Astral. So setting up the firewall, I think more or less we are done there. And it is running the, it's creating the virtual environment. It is also installing the libraries as you can see, like rapid fast installation. Pretty much I love this uh, UV installation though. Yeah, it's also using Gunicon for uh, running at a production level and uh, the installation is done. So hardly like uh, within 2-3 uh, minutes of installation you will be able to do. And here you also get the useful installation as well. The file will be installed under uh, var python open algo db with proper necessary permissions has been already provided. So you can go and visit this link and put it in your browser. Probably you should start seeing open algo. Yeah, so that means OpenAlgo is installed. First time you log in, automatically it will be asking you to enter your credentials. And once you are done with that, uh, enter your login ID, I mean, set the password. And once the password is done, just continue login. Then login as usual. So you have to enter your uh, login ID and passwords. And uh, you just connect to your account automatically. You have to enter your client ID, PIN, TOTP, and the login procedure continues. So later on, you can start using OpenAlgo as usual, right? 
I guess this video explains how to install uh, open algo in a plain vanilla uh, Ubuntu server but only thing is like uh, you can see that it is showing not secure that means uh, we are not using HTTPS unfortunately with the domain you cannot directly uh, it's not highly recommended that you send in a HTTPS. If you're sending in HTTPS, maybe you might get a warning because you're not connecting via domain. You can also enable some self-signed certificate. You can enable it. Uh, that you can only, you can use it yourself in that way. That is pretty much secure. Uh, so it's it's up to you like how you want to access it. So by default, this procedure, what I had spoken is like for HTTP method. So if you are using HTTPS, it's highly recommended that you explore self-signed certificates, right? In that case, you may have to change your .env configuration also to HTTPS, but whatever, whatever the configuration I had provided, it works only on HTTP only, right? So I guess that explains uh, the context of installing OpenAlgo with a minim minimum installation where you don't need any custom domain, just an IP address with a Ubuntu server is more than enough to host OpenAlgo. See you in an yet another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.